Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you what you need to do to, to configure email settings within a Microsoft 365 group. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, when you create a team site, all right, uh, let's say you create a, a team site in uh, SharePoint, um, by default, it also creates a bunch of other elements as well. It creates uh, an email distribution list, it creates uh, calendar and Outlook, you know, Planner, um, you know, uh, some other elements, uh, all right? And they're all tied in together through Microsoft 365 uh, group, the membership group. Um, for example, I have this HR team site, and just to show you, uh, when I created this team site, it also created a group, you know, essentially, uh, uh, you know, uh, an inbox, if you will, uh, for that uh, for that team with its own email address, etc. All right, it also created a calendar among other things. Um, however, it's very important um, is that you, you know, sometimes when you send an email to the group, right, you also want to make sure that your recipients get those emails. Or sometimes when you invite the whole group to a meeting, you want to make sure they get it, all right, that they get that email. Uh, so what you need to do, there are a few settings you need to tweak, all right, uh, on your end, uh, as well as the user needs to tweak on their end. Uh, to be able to do that. So let me show you, let me demonstrate this. Now, very important, it only works for the team sites, all right, for the groups, uh, not created from teams, all right? If you create a new team in teams, uh, you uh, are not going to be able to do what I'm showing you simply because it kind of hides the distribution list and it hides the calendar and outlook, you know, for you. Uh, you're not going to, to be able to access it. Uh, that's just how it is by design. So you have to create a new team from, you know, any other place other than Teams, all right? It could be SharePoint, could be Outlook, et cetera. Let me, let me, for example, navigate to SharePoint, you know, one of the common places to create new, um, you know, team sites from, create a site, all right? And of course, I'm going to create a team site. And let's just say I'm going to create uh, this payroll team. Here we go. I'm going to hit next. Uh, let's invite Mary. All right, let's invite Mary. She's going to be the member of the team. Here we go, perfect. All right, so obviously I got my team site. Mary and I, were the members. And um, just to show you behind the scenes, it actually adds a link over here. When I created this team, uh, there was also a distribution list, you know, created uh, for, um, you know, for my team. And I don't think it shows up over here simply because it's kind of new. Let me find it. Uh, hopefully, yeah, uh, right here, here it is. All right, here is my team that got created, uh, my group that got created when I created uh, this uh, team just now. Um, so when I send an email to my uh, you know, team, I want to make sure my recipients get it. When I invite uh, them, uh, schedule an event uh, for the group, I want to make sure everyone, all my members get it. Let me show you what needs to happen um, you know, uh, in order, you know, in order for everyone to receive those uh, emails, uh, essentially you need to make sure uh, you need to make sure that um, you, um, uh, you know, you set up uh, some settings behind the scenes that will assure that the recipients will be getting those emails. Here's what you need to do. So you go to um, Outlook Group Settings, all right, and um, this are kind of the personal settings that will get back to you uh, on those. You need to say edit group, all right? And here we go. This is very important, all right? By default, by default, even though you created a team, I guess maybe Microsoft is uh, cautious with, you know, spam and, you know, and, and making sure people don't get spammed with all these emails. But by default, uh, it doesn't really, even if you are the member of the team, like Mary is, she is the member of this team, she's not going to get any emails from me, all right? And the reason is because I did not subscribe anyone, all right? By default, it doesn't subscribe anyone, all right? So essentially what you need to do is check that box and essentially it says, you know, um, it tells you what's going to happen. Members will receive all group conversations in their inboxes, all right? You see... Uh, let me actually maybe not save it. I uh, just want to show you. Let's say I send an email right now uh, to my payroll team. Uh, and uh, here is the test message I'm sending. Here we go. All right. 
and I click send, uh, this message uh, will essentially, um, you know, will end up over here in the group inbox. All right. But if I'm Mary, let me actually, I'm logged in as Mary here. Uh, and I'm going to, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to access Mary's inbox. Uh, you see, Mary did not get any emails from me. Why? Because she's not subscribed to my distribution list, if you will. Uh, so let's fix it. Let's go ahead and fix it. What you need to do is essentially what I showed you previously, click on settings. All right. Uh, and uh, essentially, as you can see, you know, Mary uh, is not subscribed yet. And the reason is because I did not subscribe anyone yet. All right. So I need to do this. Here we go. All right. And so that's one thing. That's one thing you need to do. Then let's now check what it is like for Mary, all right? Um, when Mary uh, logs in, uh, so I'm logged in as Mary over here. Let's again find this uh, group. Uh, here we go. All right, so Mary logs in. Uh, what Mary needs to do, and let's double check the settings for her. So if she clicks on settings, look, uh, all right? So Mary here, Mary here. So what I just did right now with that global setting, I literally subscribed all my members to my uh, to my distribution list. So let's say I had 10 members, including Mary. Everyone is subscribed. But let's say, so now Mary will receive all emails from me, all right, and events from calendar. But let's say Mary doesn't want to receive any messages from me, all right? She essentially can just check any one of those other boxes, all right? And... Um, this assures because Mary, let's say Mary, as you can see, Mary is part of many, many different teams. She doesn't want to be, she doesn't want to get all these emails from in her inbox. She can, you know, just um, uh, essentially choose any other radio button. And this will keep all the messages in the group inbox, but it's not going to send any messages to her inbox. All right. Uh, so that's essentially what's going to happen. Uh, let me, you know, let's actually leave it just like that. I want Mary to, you know, Mary. Um, opted for you know receiving all those emails from uh, the group. All right. So now let's see what uh, what will happen if I if I now uh, send another email uh, to the whole payroll team. All right. So here we go. Hello again. All right. And uh, uh, here we go. All right. Perfect. Hit send. All right. So let's see. So first of all, the message does end up in the group. Uh, but we also want to make sure that you see Mary sees the message in the group. But the key here will be to see if Mary gets an e a message in her inbox and look at this. Now it is. All right. Now it is. And once again, you know, um, if Mary doesn't want to get any emails, she can always, you know, go back and unsubscribe her herself. All right. She can go here, settings, and say, you know what, I don't want to get any messages so maybe i want to get some but only when people re personally reply to me or something uh address me or something but i don't want to receive any group messages all right so that's all i really wanted to show you in this video uh very important uh, for you to understand how all this email settings work uh essentially you have to subscribe your users to um you know to to those emails and the users themselves um you know have to make sure that they have this uh, checkbox you know, checked where they will be receiving emails. And of course, they do have a choice to unsubscribe from your emails uh, if they're getting tired of <laughs> all the emails and messages, I guess, in their inbox. All right. Uh, once again, uh, hopefully you found this video useful. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.